Hello friends, uh, this is second of the uh, videos of organization management for our course and uh, I am in PPOS on PPOS transaction in PPOS transaction uh, which is for the displaying of the organization plan and uh, regardless of what comes on the screen uh, if you want to call the basic structure just go to the organization unit and structure search and you will automatically get the main structure uh, which is uh, created so this is the global wide group and i want this on my right hand side screen so i just double click it and this structure is there on my right hand side screen so this is something that we did discuss in the last video as well so let's answer some of the queries how many ceo positions are there in the group so we see there are two ceo positions and if i ask you what are the IDs of these positions then actually these are the two IDs of these particular position uh, how many of them are occupied so you can see that one of the CEO position the number is 127 5000000127 is occupied and who is the holder mr. John Davis is the holder what's the personal number of that person the personal number of that person is one name of the person occupying the position we just saw who is heading global bike us so let's see global bike us global bike us is this organization unit and it is headed by the head represents the header so let's hide these details and this global bike us is headed by the president the position uh, id is president name is president and 129 5000000129 his id and uh, who is heading global bike so we should uh, also mention the name of the person paul henson and his uh, personal number is two how many organization units are there in global bike us so within the global bike us if you see we have one two three four these are the four subordinate organization unit within global bike us and uh, the global bike us is headed by the president so the answer is four who is heading accounting and how many position uh, how many organization units in admin and finance and who is heading financials so how many organization units are there in admin and finance so this is the organization unit in which we are supposed to answer how many more units are there so this is the admin and finance let's extend the width of the column and within the admin and finance we have two organization unit administrations and financials right and let's see who, uh, who is heading financials so there is nobody who is heading these two uh, departments combined so although this is an organization unit but there is no head of this organization unit the heads are different for the financials and admin but for the financials we see the it is headed by a chief financial officer and the person heading this department is daniel cohen his number is seven who is heading accounting and how many positions are there in accounting how many of these positions are occupied so let's go to accounting so who is heading accounting let's see this is probably the chief accountant yes chief accountant and uh, sean chen is a ch chief accountant and how many positions are there so there are four positions in this particular department apart from the uh, head himself so including the head there are five positions and all of them are occupied so you can see uh, the persons the holders of these positions and if uh, i ask you the personal number or somebody ask you the position id you can mention it from here And then if I want to see details of any one of them, uh, so we have three objects over here. We have either the organization units or we have the positions or we have the persons. So all the objects are either of these three in our client. We don't have jobs so far. So if I want to see the details of, let's say, for example, this particular department, which is accounting department. So I just need to double click this accounting department and the system will show me uh, some of the details of uh, this department. So for example, I double click this accounting and you see uh, I have the details over here. Uh, it's uh, a bit slow. The client is a bit slow. So the organization unit accounting is uh, this is the code, which is the short text sort of short text. This is the full text. This is the valid on. So this is valid on 9 July. If you want to see the periods of valid uh, from and to, uh, because this is just the current, the, it's showing the current date. We can click this button to show actually the full periods from which date to which date this accounting department is valid because all the objects are defined uh, from a certain date to a certain date. So it is valid from 1 1 2010 to 31 12 1999. And we can see that uh, these are the persons who are actually uh, within this particular department. So here we only show the list of persons who are immediately in this department. 
if there is another department within this department, another organization unit within that unit, then we won't see the names of the person in that particular subordinate units. Anyway, I want to see the details of not the organization unit, but this position, chief accountant. So I double click this chief accounting position and uh, you can see that I have uh, the position code, which is chief accountant. Remember, the code is different from ID. The ID is something numeric, most likely, and the code is uh, the short text, sort of short of short text. This is the full text. Uh, again, this is the valid from and valid to. If this date is not apparent, we would click this button to say uh, to call the date. And uh, this is the head of phone department. Of course, the head is showing. And this is the person who is occupying this position. And uh, this is the details which are apparent for. And let's call Mr. Sean Chen, the person now. So although the details, uh, uh, detail personal data of the person can be called in PA20, but uh, some of the personal data will be available here as well. So you can see that uh, some of the details from Mr. Sean Chen, for example, for example, you can see uh, this is the personal number. So here is a personal number here as well. And this is the employee group and employee subgroup and personal area and status. So these are some of the details again in valid from and valid to some of the details available for this particular person. So this is the way we can make use of the details within this uh, PPOS uh, transaction. OK, so the next is uh, uh, about uh, uh, some more queries. Uh, using the free search, find person with personal number 65. So we have already used free search in other modules, uh, PA20. So now we use free search. And remember what the system is asking, what the query is, find the person with the personal number. So we have to go select for the person, right? So this is the person and uh, we extend the person uh, rather than clicking it better to click this arrow so that uh, uh, all the options are uh, visible on the screen and the client is running too slow. So I just wrongly click the person and the system is showing me um, some sort of F4 help. So we can make use of it as well, but I would suggest uh, we don't use it because uh, it will confuse some of you. Although those of you who are comfortable using the system now uh, will uh, see it might see it more easy. But let's use uh, don't click uh, this person, but just uh, click the arrow and make use of the free search. So here is the free search and uh, within the free search uh, we need personal number, personal ID. So this is the key field and I need personal number value in the input and uh, uh, let's uh, enter the personal number which is 62 and enter uh, and I remember this is Sean Chen but we don't need to answer from our memory. We need to see in the system. So this is Sean Chen personal number is here. And let's double click it and you will see uh, the system will show the structure, uh, the position uh, of this person within the structure. So Mr. Sean Chen is actually on the position of chief accountant and is basically within the organization unit accounting. So you see now the entire structure is not shown here, but only the relevant part of the structure, which is relevant to our query is shown here. And also this is in the reverse order because we actually are searching for the person. So the system is showing the person first, then his position, and then his department. Let's go to another query. Uh, so the system, the query is uh, actually, uh, we need to show two positions, 5000000138 and 5000002007. So I need to, to see these po two positions within uh, the structure and uh, probably the persons uh, which are who are working in this particular position also. So now we are interested in positions. So let's go to the positions. Let's, let's go to free search. And again, I am interested in position ID. So we need to go to the key field. We need to um, focus on the object IDs and the object IDs again over here. Since uh, we are interested in not one ID, but two different IDs, uh, which is a sort of or, or, or between them, that either this or this. And then we need to copy the two IDs here, the two single values, 138 and 207. So 5000138 and 5000207. And we execute it. Uh, and then we press enter over here and probably we will see the two positions in the hit list and then we can see the details uh, detailed structure of these positions on the uh, context uh, screen so it's taking too long
let's wait for it to respond so here are the two positions vice president marketing and vice president marketing and sales uh, since i did not selected the id in the output uh, in the second checkbox so the system is not showing my query ids so anyway we shall see the vice president marketing so uh, we double click it and this is the vice president marketing this is his id we were actually looking for this 138 he is in marketing and sales and it is actually this is the person who is uh, actually uh, occupying this position so he since he is head of a department so that's why the system is showing uh, uh, his uh, uh, department as well and his name as well so let's go for the second one vice president marketing and sales this is 207 and there is nobody uh, occupying this position so he is heading the department marketing and sales but there is nobody hired on this position so this is the way we can use make use of uh, free search in the positions so the next is uh, uh, how, uh, find all persons belonging to administration or operations in company code us double zero person whose supervisor's personal number is 39 so let's come here and supervisor's personal number so we need to find a person so we need to go to person we need to go to free search and within the free search supervisor's personal number will be some sort of probably organization assignment we see so this is within the organization assignment uh, supervisor is part of the organization and here you can see personal number of supervisor so let's uh, check here and the personal number of supervisor is 62 so i think this is the query uh, it's 39 okay so we need to find a person who are responding uh, actually um, who are uh, uh, reporting to mr 39 and we press enter and all, uh, yes uh, we don't care how many records are there so there are three persons who are reporting to him uh, mr johnson carroll and katharina and david lobs so we can see the details of every one of them so they are actually in internet sales so probably uh, actually mr 39 is actually heading the internet sales uh, or something like this so these are the three persons uh, so this is actually the person this is the organization unit uh, so uh, this is the position so he's, uh, he is actually heading this position and this is his department so he's actually heading this department and within this department we have another department sales another department marketing another operations so this is the hierarchy of these departments so this is actually located within global bike us so this is the reverse order read it in the reverse order right so this is catherine catherine is on the position of west representative and she is within uh, the department of west area sales and actually this is uh, under sales and sales is under marketing and sales so probably mr 39 is heading sales that's why she is actually reporting to um, uh, uh, um, employee number 39 if you want to see the data of employee number 39 uh, you people should be comfortable to view the data his data either through pa20 or from here let's come to the next query uh, so i did not cover this query because this is beyond uh, actually this is not clear and this is beyond uh, your scope uh, using structured search display all the employees under organization in financials under admin and financials under global bike us so this is the simplest one we know we don't need over here so using the organization structure we just call the structure first so structure search and it is asking us for financials under admin and financials so here is the complete structure and uh, within the structure It is asking for within the global bank us within admin and finance so within admin and finance let's extend this width and it is asking us for the financials so the exact query is using and display all the employees under right so i need to display all the employees so i just need to uh, financials and then expand it so this is all the employees or another way to search this is actually to go to person and then go to free search and then actually uh, 
call the organization units but this is I, I i don't feel it is within the scope of your course so this is why i am not displaying this way i am just displaying them in the structure so anyway you can come up with the names of the persons you can see all the persons here and you can just count them if you want uh, although this is not a good way to count anyway find all positions under organization unit sales under marketing and sales under global bike us under marketing and sales under global bike us so this is we need to go to sales under under marketing and sales under global bike us so we come here we go to the collapse here we go to marketing and sales so within the operations we have marketing and sales operations was missing in the query or it should have been mentioned within sales and these are all the employees if i want to see all of them i just click this expand all button and the system will show me the details of all of uh, them so uh, this is the way we can actually explore the structure and lastly uh, keep in mind that uh, the data we see here must actually resemble the data that we see pa20 for example for example this is andrea marino whose personal number is 39 and uh, she is a sales manager and uh, her position id is uh, actually this is the position so her position id is 139 5000 139 so let's open another session and uh, let's uh, call pa20 and see the data of uh, this employee from uh, there this is employee number 39 so let's try to match cross uh, verify the data from these three reports although the data is coming from the same database so the data must be same so 39 and we see the organization assignment because this is something relevant for us for the time being and we go to the display decode and you should see you should see that uh, the details mentioned in the organization structure that is her position and her department organization unit they should be same as are apparent over here so you can see her position 5000139 and uh, the organization unit is not rightly mentioned because there is some linkage error but uh, the thing is that uh, you can see the position 5000139 and sales manager so you can see that sales manager is sales manager 5000139 technically since uh, she is uh, within the organization unit 5000087 so this organization unit should also be shown here uh, but it is somehow that two are not linked that's why it's not shown here anyway so we did verify the position and uh, this is all about uh, uh, this video in the next video we shall see how to actually change this particular organization plan thank you